care of your family, man. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Tactical Mike. And of course, I'm back with some more of that. Pressure. So y'all know what's going on in this video, right? We're gonna do an official battle. One question, what shotgun would you prefer? If you gotta defend your life, you gotta defend your house, which one you grabbing? You gonna grab that pump action or are you gonna grab that semi-automatic? So, we gotta take both of these guns out to the range. We're gonna test them. It's gonna be an official battle. So before we hit the range, do you own any shotguns? If you do, let me know in the comments below. But it's time to hit the range. I'm gonna catch you there. Wait a minute, YouTube, hold on now. We are in a safe and controlled environment. I am at the outdoor gun range. So please, don't demonetize this video. All right, y'all, so we back at it. And I just want to do a little test on these two shotguns. Of course, we got that pump action shotgun versus the semi-automatic. I'm gonna be shooting this cardboard target. So I got the cardboard target there just as a reference to see the spread. To be 100% fair, I'm shooting the exact same ammo out of both of these shotguns. Now this is some upland steel shot. This is low brass. It is recommended that you use high brass, but that's all part of the test. Pump action or semi-auto? Let's get it. Round one, I'm starting off with the pump action. The OG gotta go first. You gotta see what type of spread this thing puts off. You know, mind you again, this is steel shot, low brass. Let's get it, Mike. Goodness gracious, man. That thing is loud. So, put a whole hole through this bad boy. So now we're gonna go to this big boy, semi-auto AK. So I'm gonna start off with a five round mag with this one. All right, let's hope. Hopefully this gun cycles. Let's see. Impressed. It ran all five flawlessly. I mean, shot pattern is pretty consistent, of course. Today's video is brought to you by Cantaloupe. Who the f eats cantaloupe? Okay, so no, really, um, like, if you eat cantaloupe, you're probably weird. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if you shot a cantaloupe at point blank range with a 12 gauge shotgun? Stay tuned. The first cantaloupe is going to get punished with, of course, our pump action shotgun at point blank range. My lord, a snapping turlock. I got kind of low juice all on me. Wow. But of course, this time we're gonna be using the semi-auto. 12 gauge. Point blank range, of course. <sighs> I'm gonna shoot this one left-handed this time. You know, because I am an ambidextrous shooter. All hands on deck. Early shot! Woo! Oh my! Well, people, uh... I can officially say that I was assaulted by a cantaloupe. It's just all up in here. Well. All right, so now that we got both of the weapons warmed up, now we can go for some real tests. First test is gonna be speed. How fast can you get? all of the rounds down range or at your target. So I'm gonna start with the pump action. This is speed, so I'm gonna try to shoot and pump as quickly as I can. And we clip. All right, next up, we back with the semi-auto speed test. Let's see what we can do. Come on, man.
I mean, speed test clearly, that's a no-brainer, right? Come on, man. Y'all saw how fast I shot these. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go for speed one more again, and I'm gonna try my best to speed up with this pump action. Had to pull out the 10 mag. That's one of the advantages of having a semi-auto mag fed. All right. Whew. I'm gonna just shoot five. Come on, man. <laughs> so clearly, the semi-auto is gonna win when it comes down to speed as far as the reload and as far as the fire rate. Next. Recoil. I'm gonna shoot one round from each, let's say two. I'm gonna shoot two rounds from each shotgun to see which one has the best recoil. Recoil test one. I'm gonna be honest with you right there. I forgot I had to pump. So that's why there was that delay in the middle. This felt like you getting punched in your arm. It literally feels like somebody is just standing here punching you. All right, recoil test with the semi-auto um the recoil on this one feels way different i'm gonna say this one has better recoil than the pump action this feels like someone threw a spring at you and you can just feel the spring bouncing off of you and going back inside the gun as far as the recoil goes i gotta give it to the jts semi-auto actually since i already got it might as well go ahead and dump it real quick right Recoil, jeez, freaking jeez. Freaking shotgun. I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm still gonna try it. I mean, I'm pretty strong. Let's see what happens here. I'm a man. Didn't hurt at all. All right, semi-auto, yeah. One handed test, hold on. All right. Full transparency here. This JTS is front heavy. This thing is heavy than a mug. So when it comes down to that feature, maneuverability, the weight, the pump action is gonna win that one when it comes to the weight. This thing is really lightweight. It's not front heavy. I can easily maneuver this. Now this JTS on the other hand, I mean, as beautiful as it is and how great it functions, it's it's really heavy, man. Like, it's not a light gun. And I would say that's probably due to the fact that this thing is full with this Picatinny and M-Lock rail up here. Um, so it is really front heavy. We definitely can't leave this shotgun battle without talking about price and availability. This specific one, of course, is at Stevens 320. I got this for less than $200. You can get fairly cheap pump action shotguns almost anywhere, and they're always available. Now, this JTS on the other hand, even though this is still a budget option, um, this gun cost me like $499, $500 for it. When it comes to the aesthetics, of the firearms i mean we really don't even have to say that that alone wins the argument every time so looks department semi-auto it's gonna win which one would you prefer now it all depends on what you're doing are you defending your house because if I am defending my house, me personally, I'm not gonna pick either one of these, but if I had to, honestly, I'm gonna have to say the pump action. It all comes down to that maneuverability. I think I said that right. Being able to, to maneuver around, like if I have to use a shotgun, I don't want something that's heavy. I can control this with one hand if I need it. Fight someone off, and still have the shotgun as far as that brain misfire of forgetting to pump that's why again like i said man you gotta practice 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 just remember when you're using the pump action you gotta pump 
Not that freaking hard. TK and family. All right, that pretty much wraps it up, man. Semi-auto versus that pump action shotgun. Which one would you prefer? It's your boy Tactical Mike, and I'm signing off. Okay, I'm reloaded.